Ah, uh, Pierce. Good old 236P. You've always been there for me when I need to use Eddie, but not lose my entire meter in two moves. Stop blowing through your whole meter in two seconds. It's not okay. Pierce is like being able to turn Eddie on low power mode. It's like your energy saver for when you need to lock somebody down. But like I said, not trying to spend up Eddie's whole f meter like he really has time for that. Like, like there's not better things he could be doing with it. I'm pretty sure Eddie would appreciate it if I didn't blow yeah, through his meter like the Migos at a strip club. I mean, he's a whole forbidden beast. I'm sure he could be spending that meter on something else besides being forced to shapeshift into frogs just because I think frogs are cute. So I spent hundreds of hours in training. Faded, of course. Probably the most lit off the gas I've been this year. Just straight Zato labbing. You guys want to know my secret? I get wasted, then I go play video games. Your boy style was literally in training mode like it was the astral plane just like zoomed in bro like exploring every possible route and outcome i could for this video and i found shit for zaza that made me laugh and cry so you know we on demon time when i say this video is packed chock full of fuckery like if they do not study the matchup they are screwed And then they have to learn the matchup for that. And it's not easy. So let's get started. Developers of Guilty Gear Strive blessed us with a whole three uses of 236P, as opposed to our other specials, which max out at two uses. But I'm about to show y'all how you can get six of them. Pierce is actually a two part string with a seven frame gap between the first and second hit, so you can cancel with Drunkard Shade and cut them in half. This is going to give you seven, actually. They give you a bonus win at the end for the free. By cutting your pierces in half, you cut the amount of meter drain required down by 50%. Okay, so the rest of this video is really just a big ass section called how to not get outplayed. Remember, they will adapt to you and start down jabbing Eddie, which is why you have to adapt back and let them know that shit is not okay. Like, if I see that you enjoy killing Eddie, like you're getting a kick out of this shit, I'm going to clap cancel you. I'm going to clap cancel you. So if you go to your settings and you change your dummy to jump after blocking, then you'll notice how fucking easy it really is to jump Pierce. Like, you really have to be... You'd have to be all the way up in their face for them to not be able to jump this. And, and this is not a good range to be dealing with Giovanna at all. At all. This is not good. I mean, you could clap cancel in the Leaping Frog, but to be honest, doing that every time is kind of lame. There's there's some other ways besides clapping up a storm to play 2S. 2S is good. 2S is a decent gap filler. As you can see, Foss cannot jump me right here. Pierce dash 2S. Pierce dash 2S. You guys need to practice this because once you learn it, you can mix it up into even more dangerous setups. The more random, the better. And if they mash and start pressing buttons, counter hit. Counter hit into a max damage wall break combo if you really want to. Because this can be mixed in with a grab, they have to pick an option. They will be counter hit if you just dash in and do a 2S. They have to do something. If you just sit there, you're gonna get grabbed. If you do, if you mash, you're gonna get counter hit. Some people think that I won't just sit here and do this all day, but I will. I, I'll really just sit here and spend the entire meter on 2S's and never really go for the grab. And then I'll go for the grab that one time you think I'm gonna 2S. After doing the 2S Eddie Punch string two times, you'll have a little bit of juice left to do whatever your little heart desires. You know, so you better get funky with this little bit of juice you got left, you know what I'm saying? Just switch it up. Do something they're not expecting, like a dash in, clap cancel. Pretend you're gonna go in for the grab, clap cancel, look, catch the air jump, wall break combo like that. Yeah, they're not gonna see that coming. What? And we haven't even talked about the 6P string yet. You jab, 6P, and then use Pierce, and they cannot jump it. But I'm just trying to show you guys all the things that I use personally. 6P string is really nice because you can jab confirm it. But did you know you can cancel 6P into Drunkard Shade and then have it bring you a mix? 
Like you can you can you could get six P to bring you a 50-50. That's amazing. Like I'm really trying to give you guys everything that you need to stop getting jumped. Cause I realize that they're just jump us. Like that's just their answer now. Just jump the Zato, just jab them. Like they just have really simple answers and very simple approaches to dealing with our mixes. And if we can shut that shit down, we can be a lot better off. Here's another string you could use which puts Eddie behind the opponent. And you still have more than half your meter left. So you get two moves from Eddie afterwards which is really nice. Down slash drunkard shade. Really want to stop those jumps. Up jump. And you want to be waiting for it too. Like I'm so dirty. I'm disgusting. Like I will set you up in a way where you would really want to jump and then I'll be there waiting for you to jump just so I can air grab rum and cancel you. You really want to hard punish jumpers and jabbers because they really think that they can break our offense down to a fucking simple math like jumping and jabbing but if you hit practice mode like i've been telling you to then it's way more complicated than that when you spend those hours in training mode you'll have the timing down the muscle memory down you know exactly when block stun is over and you can go and go for that grab you are the only person who's supposed to be knowing what's happening on the screen like <laughs> like you think i'm joking i'm not you're the only person who's supposed to be knowing what the hell is going on and if they mash counter hit max damage big boy wall break combo oonga boonga and if they do nothing grab you get you get free grab setups at the wall and it, even better if it's a command grab reset your meter and then start pressure all over again for free <laughs> i'm laughing but it's so fucked up like because we're just getting started like if you dash roman cancel first off learn dash roman cancel this is an essential you need to learn how to dash rc mine is mapped to my l1 so i can do this all day i can even move cancel this look jump cancel into a side switch low mix up like this is dragon ball fighters or some shit like using pierce and then doing a dash rc immediately after the pierce gives you so much mix it's crazy as you can see they can block see they can still block the second one as you can see they'll have time to block the second one but that all comes down to range if you do it at close range he cannot block the second pierce if you get hit by the first one it's a wrap allow me to take a second to explain this combo because i know a lot of you are like what is going on what is he even doing i did down slash into down heavy right so 2s into 2 hs and then I'm just gonna hold it. As you can see in the corner of the screen, I'm holding heavy slash still, and I'm holding slash, and I'm holding forward to move Eddie closer so that way he can actually leap up. When I let go of slash, here comes the frog, and I just choose a wall splat. I choose close slash into heavy slash, easy wall splats all day. I just wanted to explain that because I know my subs have a really hard time with negative edge, which is why I'm actually working on a negative edge video right now. So stay tuned for that. Now we have to talk about this. We have to talk about I can't just do that and then just not talk about it. So let's talk about it. After dash RC, you just land a simple air kick. Up forward, air kick. That's it. Then you press air dust, which will carry them to the wall and give you a wall break combo. Now look and pay attention now I'm holding down slash. And then look at Eddie slimy ass slithering across the bottom of the screen and shit. Like I'm just moving him forward so that way he can catch the combo. If you don't move him forward, he won't catch the combo. And you get to keep your meter after this. You get to swag out on somebody and still keep your meter after. What more can you add? Why aren't you subscribed? Air Dust is super underrated at the wall because of how it can carry opponents. You can just get a simple dust counter hit. You can convert that shit into something crazy. We don't have to stick to the same thing. We're playing Zato here. You can swap it out for drills. It doesn't have to be the frog every time, bro. I know frogs are cool, but you know what I'm saying? Like, and remember to mess around with these settings and see what you can and cannot get away with. If you play Zato and you're watching this right now, I want you to drop and give me a hundred one of these. 
give me a hundred one of these. Do these drills over and over again. Pierce and then jump, catch it up with your multi-hitting um, punch special. Practice this while you're waiting for a match. Practice this when you're bored. Practice shutting them down. Don't let them escape from you just because you use Pierce. Be there. Be there at the places where they want to go and then be ready to hard punish that shit. And then be there at the places that they really do not expect you to be at. The place that they really think is safe and then have a hard punish for that shit waiting for their ass. You will get a hang of this stuff. It is not that difficult. The game's only been out for a month and I'm already like a god with Zato. Like, I, I, I promise you. It's not, it's not as hard as it's seeming in this video. Just take it slow, my bro, and you will be a Zato god in no time. Just practice whenever you have time, and you'll be there. I promise, bro. I promise. You, we, I, I started out not knowing shit about Zato. Like, first of all, this is my first Guilty Gear, so I, I really do not even know what the hell is going on right now. Like, I don't even know where I am right now. What map is this? What, what's the, what, what, what? Like I know nothing, but I'm, do I'm doing a lot for somebody who knows nothing. Remember I came up with the shield sandwiches, now it's become a staple in my moveset. Along with cutting pierces in half, you can really mix up when the grab is coming. They, like, they would really have to know the matchup to know what is going on. And that's really the key to being Zato, being the only one that knows what the fuck is going on. <laughs>